What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how Vox Sauce works. I have this song, Flavors by Ducks, and we're just going to start off with the beat, and I'm going to play the main vocal with the verses for you and the, uh, the lead chorus vocal as well, so you can hear what's happening. I'm going to go ahead and jump to it, and this is the raw vocal with no effects. Everything's bypassed. Uh, woke up with a fire burning, desire yearning to rise to a place of higher learning. Apply the work and no question, I deserve it. My mind is certain the moment I step from behind the curtain. So cold when I rep my entire purpose, flow over your head like a flying circus. Uh, yo, I never been lying, never been mediocre with the rhymes. Cool, that's the dry vocal. It sounds like it was recorded pretty clean, right? Then we just drop in our effects, Vox Sauce, and then let's see what it sounds like. Uh, woke up with a fire burning, desire yearning to rise to a place of higher learning. Apply the work and no question, I deserve it. My mind is certain the moment I step from behind the curtain. So cold when I rep my entire purpose, flow over your head like a flying circus. And every vocal in this song was mixed with Vox Sauce. So, what is Vox Sauce? Vox Sauce is a vocal mixing combinator for the Reason Rack. You can use it in the Reason DAW. Or you can use it in the Reason Rack inside of another digital audio workstation of your choice. So it has an EQ on it with preset EQ target areas in it that might cause problems in your songs. It also has a compressor so you can get your vocal nice and leveled out. So all the quiet parts and the loud parts are kind of averaged and you can hear everything that you're saying evenly. Next up, we got this fat area. So we got a doubler, a chorus, and an auto pan. These come in handy with different types of vocals, so if we play this vocal and we turn on the doubler, we'll get like a pop smoke kind of vibe, it'll sound big, sound wide. Uh, woke up with a fire burning, desire yearning to rise to a place of higher learning. We also got the amount knob for that. And apply the work and no question, I deserve it, my mind is up. We also got a course. This comes in handy for, you know, background vocals or even just adding a little bit to your main vocal and the moment i step from behind the curtain so cold when i rep my entire purpose flow over your head then we got auto pan this comes in handy for ad lib so if i go down to an ad lib track you'll see where i'm actively using this cool so these little vocal ad libs are panning from left to right with this auto pan and we could turn up the speed if we wanted it to pan faster next up we got our distortion area so that'll just give you like a, a radio what we got radio here overdrive and tape so if i turned all of these off let's go back up to this main vocal up here and you can hear it on that main vocal hit the fuse and i bus hit some views on so this has tube distortion on it. Don't fuss, brother. Whenever I hit the booth, I go nuts. Bring the food to my plate. I won't quit to life eight, so give me my space. I'm fit to die. So it kind of thinned the vocal out by adding that tube distortion, which was the effect I was going for. I straight into the fight cage, and now I'm fixing my aim. Man, I got flit the fuse, and I bust. All right, cool. We also got radio here. Radio, give it a radio effect. Hit some views. I'm not fussed, brother. Whenever I hit the booth, I go nuts. Tape effect. Bring the food to my plate. I won't quit to life eight, so give me my space. So some of the effects you'll see throughout the presets, there are 64 presets. Some of them will use different combinations of these. And down here we got reverb. So I'm fit to dive straight into the fight cage and now I'm fixing my aim. Man, I got flit the fuse and I bust. Hit some views. We also got delay. I'm not fussed, brother. Whenever I hit the booth, I go nuts. Bring the food to my plate. I won't quit to life. This duck area right here will let you determine if the delay gets in the way of the main vocal or if it it, it waits till that main vocal stops and then comes up after. Life ain't so give me my space. I'm fit to dive straight into the fight cage and now I'm fixing my aim. Man, I got flit the fuse and I bust. Hit some views. I'm not fussed, brother. Whenever I hit the booth, I go nut. And we also got the delay time. How long those are those delays waiting until they start playing? And then we also got the reverb times. I skipped over that real quick, but... How long do you want that reverb to last? How long do you want that reverb tell? So bring the food to my plate. I won't quit to life eight, so give me my space. I'm fit to dive straight into the fight cage and now I'm fixing my aim. Man, I got flit the In this middle section here is Neptune. So if you want auto-tune and you're using Reasons Auto-Tune, then you would just turn on Neptune and it would start tuning your vocal. Use a night bus. 
Hits and views, I'm not fussed, brother. Whenever I hit the booth, I go nut. But this song right here isn't a song that needs tune. He's just rapping. He's not really singing. So we don't need that. Let's say you want to add your own auto tune. Just make sure Neptune is off. And then go to this insert effects area here. And then you're just going to select your auto tune of choosing. Put it at the top of whatever you have going on. And set your keys and your auto tune to how you like it. Depending on the plugin you have, that's going to look different. So the auto-tune that, that comes with the reason is called Neptune, and you can see it by clicking on Devices. And if you need to change the pitch at all, then you'll come in here and select the root and the scale of the song that you are creating. And the correction speed is connected to where it's supposed to be connected. You'll also have your preserve expression connected as well. Um, another thing to watch out for is your compression. How much compression you're doing so I prefer to do about three to six decibels of compression depending on how crazy or how loud and dynamic that vocal is so I'll show you what that looks like so I'm not speaking gibberish Lit the fuse and I bus hit some views I'm not fussed by that whenever I hit this little meter right here is showing us how many decibels of compression we're getting so I want to hit between zero and four the booth, I go nuts bring the food to my plate I won't quit to life eight so give me my space and I'm there. So in order to get there, I can either change these or I could change these up here. They're all the same. I'm fit to dive straight into the fight cage and now I'm fixing my aim. Man, I got flit the fuse and I bust. And that looks pretty good, but most importantly, it sounds good. So that's how you would set up your compressor. You would just come in and change your input gain or your threshold so that you're getting negative three to negative six decibels of compression depending on your song. So that is how you use Voxos. It has everything in one place for you so you don't have to go searching around looking for everything in reason. And so you don't have to figure out, hey, what should I put in my vocal chain? Everything that you need in your vocal chain is right here. And if you're really savvy with reason, you can easily just swap things out and replace it and create your own presets. Now, as for the presets, I said before there are 64 presets. So let me go to that preset folder. All right, cool. This is the Voxos preset folder. And in here we have some BVX multi-mode vocoder presets, non-tuned vocals, and tuned vocal presets. Let's start off in the non-tuned vocals folder because we're looking at a non-tuned vocal right here. So we got, pre we got presets for ad-libs, dubs, and main vocals. So this one right here is Rappers Are Us. We can switch it up to Baby Kendrick and it'll change up the format. I encourage you to go through these presets and, and experiment with the effects inside of them. Lit the fuse and I bust. Hit some views, I'm not fussed, but whenever I hit the booth, I go nuts. Lit the fuse and I bust. Hit some views, I'm not fussed, but whenever I hit the booth, I go nuts. The next folder we'll go over is the tuned vocals folder. This vocal just has assorted keys. So if you don't know how to use Neptune or you know how to set up the auto tune with reason then you could just use these you still need to figure out the key of your beat the key of your song and then you'll just drag it on so for example if my beat was in c minor then i would drag on verse vocal c minor and it'll automatically tune it to c minor for me and neptune is on and i'll just mess with the retune speed to change how robot robotic i sound we also got the same thing in major keys so experiment with that also got we also got the DIY keys folder. This just gives you a basic preset for what track you might be recording. So if you're doing ad-libs, you can drop on your ad-lib vocal uh, preset and then you'll just change the key yourself. And in order to change the key in Neptune, again, you're going to open up the devices tab and then you're going to select the root note and the scale. Cool. And you got the same thing for the chorus vocal, first vocal, and then a second verse vocal with less top end on the high shelf. So after that, we got the BVX multi mode vocoder. These are some vocoder presets that use BVX. So if you wanted to drop these in and get some pretty cool sounds, some like electronic robotic types of sounds on your vocals. If you're doing some pop or you're being trying to be creative and get out of the box and you could try these out and you can also pop it open and mess with it for yourself. Everything is right here for you to see how it's done and mangle things to your liking. 
This mix knob is going to control the volume in the vocoder if you can't hear it very well. But keep in mind there is a main volume knob here and a compressor volume knob here. If you got to turn them all the way up, maybe you need to turn your beat down. But yes, that is an overview of Voxos. Let me know if you have any questions. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.